okay, that that second scene, you see Xavier uh, talking to his soon to be wife. I don't even know who. Did you even know who the hell that lady was? Yeah, I looked it up. Her name is Empress Lalandra. Yeah, so it's like this alternate universe and all that stuff, right? And and like they're in love, gonna get married, and she's convincing him to like shed all his humanity and all his memories, um, so that way they can build this new life because they're worried that he's you know gonna force her to move back or like bond her to the humans, Terran Earth. Mm-hmm. Um, I loved it specifically because she talks about masking and he's like, hey. I have to be strong. No one wants to see the weak one. No one wants to see this one, the fragile one. No one wants to see me be quote unquote, a woman. They want to see me be perfect, clean, representative, strong, masculine. No one wants to see Xavier crippled. They, they want to see him in this suit, strong, powerful, intelligent. And so think about that and how that projects down to everyone in our society. Now, everyone must show this. On Instagram, everyone must show this. As soon as I DM them, hey, man, I'm going through it, man. Hey, man, I'm tired, man. I'm like, I'm getting it. You ain't got to explain it to me. But if all of you are suffering this bad, that's scary. I'm just offering you to have some fun on a podcast with me and Spence. Um, It's just so scary on how everyone is trying to be perfect, but there's no such thing. So all of us feel miserable as shit. You can't show any disability. You, you finally get diagnosed with autism, you know, ADHD, schizophrenia, bipolar. Can't ever tell anyone because, you know, I probably won't get a job now. So, I mean, that's horrific. You're finally dating someone. We get you to date someone. Then you can't even tell them that you see a counselor, a therapist, because you're worried that they're going to think you're crazy. Well, I don't think that's a good partner then. Because if you don't feel like you can be honest and open with them, then who the fuck are you dating? True. Who are you dating? You can't tell them that you just work with me. Nothing's wrong with you. You just like the verbal process. This dude must be a piece of shit. No, I love them. All right, well, something's wrong. Something's wrong. This same person, after the breakup and all that, eventually, because dude was trash. Uh, they meet someone, they talk about mental health, therapy, wounds, all this stuff. I'm like, there you go. Now, you, now you're in a relationship. Before, you were acting like some princess the fuck um i just thought i was tripping bro because when he was walking i'm like what did i miss did he heal did he heal <laughs> in the waters of lake minnesota <laughs> <laughs> yeah and they actually that raised the people too they hate mutants too yeah everybody hates no, mutants no matter what universe you go to they're just like ew no we don't like that at all and he shows him how powerful he is later on in the episode with like his mind. mind yeah. Game. Take him. He takes him to school. Yeah. Takes him to school and tells him like, Hey, actually all your culture is, is just taking people and mowing them down. You're oppressors. And yeah. All you are, are oppressors and you're keeping down all the like new talented. cultures. Yeah. And just keeping only the ones that fit you. It's genocide. Yeah. Literally. It's literally genocide of all these aliens, aka white folk. Yeah. That's all it is, is genocide. Everyone yeah, is genocidal. They, they just conquer planets and just go like, well, we'll pick the ones that are actually going to be on our side and we'll only keep those and then we'll kill the rest. So yeah. You can't escape it, man. It makes me think about all the folks of color been through. Me and Spence were just talking about all the Native Americans that died, you know, we can talk about black folk. People, I want to stick it. Native Americans. No one can even fathom the amount of humans. Spence, Google this real quick for me. How many Native Americans died uh, when we when we conquered America? Not sorry, I said we. When the Spaniards got lost and found America, um, because we talk about obviously the the Jews and the genocide. We talk about the blacks and the slavery. I'm using race, races poorly here, but. Africans were that were taken from their homeland. So it says, according to geographers from University College London, the colonization of the Americas by Europeans killed so many people, approximately 55 million or 90% of the local populations. 55 million. Okay, I heard a different number somewhere else. So I'll, I'll look into that. But it's saying 55 million. Okay, 55 million. Yeah. Ge- that's a horrific genocide, which happened very quickly. Um, 
How, how do you even comprehend 55 million? 55 million? I can't even comprehend, like, Purdue University is 50,000. Mm-hmm. That'd be like the whole half to Nate more than the Nate. Times, like. Oh, my hundreds. God. Jesus. That'd be terrible. So you see all these genocides just part of the culture. And so I love that it makes its way into film, into animation. This is a children's show. You know, well, now yeah. maybe not, but back then it was. Yeah. Cartoons. There's some, some very steamy scenes going on there for a hey, little bit. Hey, know. most of that anime got, you know, heavy, heavy breasts. Magneto heavy was looking, hey. he was in his little boxer shorts. You know what hey. I'm saying? That's, that's, oh, I can't even say America's ass because he ain't American. No, he's German, Polish. So yeah, I think so, yeah. And then he was taken. Yeah. Um, he's but yeah, he's, he- he's heavy chested. Um, it's just interesting. Uh, you're right about the genocide. And the reason why I really picked it too is the perfectionism, but also... He said, all right, don't you think you're done with the kids? He said, yeah, I'm done. A mentor's done. A father's done. A therapist is done when they feel like they don't have to teach anymore. Mm. There's no more lessons to be taught. And I was like, preach, brother. Snap, snap. (laughs) You tell it, bald white man. You tell it. Yes, queen. (laughs) Yes, queen. Yep. Um, I'm related to that. Mm. Uh, Uh. that last scene, yeah. Uh, Spence, go ahead and give a little description of what the hell's going on leading into that scene. All right. So this character, Bastion, it's a bad guy, pretty much doing, is the leader of all this bad shit happening um, to the X-Men and just overall to mutants as a whole. And so he helped create these... Um, or was like the mastermind behind these sentinels, right? And these sentinels, all they are, they're pretty much just there to track down mutants yep. and identifying them and then eliminate them, right? Um, And then, so they made them to look like humans or they, like somehow he um, somehow dipped them in this goo that turned them into androids and shit. Yeah. And like now they're like the perfect like mutant destroyers and there was this great meme where it was just like it was a scene from south park where it was like they took our gerbs and then just dipped them in the <laughs> Jesus. in the goo um because that was all about they're like well what happens if the mutants they don't need humans anymore yeah. right it's like we see these trends of like, oh, if this culture or this race of people start coming up, then they don't need us anymore. So what are we supposed to do? We're supposed to fight this. We're supposed to, you know, kill all these different people because, hey, they're going to get rid of us. So we might as well do it first. Mm-hmm. So pretty much. Yeah. And um, then that leads to them capturing Magneto. And we have that scene where it's locked up. And um, Val Cooper, who was part of the UN, yep. who was like pleading with Magneto, being like, we had no idea this shit was going to happen. Yep. Um, now she's like, yeah, Magneto was right the whole time and probably should have killed all of you. Probably so. should have killed all these people, all of humans or something like that. Yeah, she was like, damn. She became yeah. empathetic and sympathized. Yes. Yes. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Check out the full episode on our channel and anywhere you find podcasts. Also, remember to like and subscribe. Whoop, whoop.